really curious about your experience with Y Combinator. Yeah. Uh, what did you, what was the main like thing your team learned and was your model mm -hmm. um, like you described before, before you went into Y Combinator or did it change a little bit after? Good question. So no, our model, I mean, the basics of it, our model is um, you get to see who you're helping up front, 100% goes to who you see, and then you get a follow-up video of that impact. So that stayed the same. Like we've made a bunch of different product changes, but um, but the main thing that Y Combinator did was it. Uh, I'll share this story real quick. So when you get there, they make you pick like one goal at the at the end of your time there. That's like it could be one metric, whatever it is. And it's supposed to be like this big metric, you know. And uh, ours, when we when we told them, we said, hey, ours is going to be. 50 homes, which for us was like a really big number because we only done like 10 until then. Yeah. And they're like, oh, so you're gonna do 100 homes. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. Like literally no idea. But when you find yourself in that position of feeling unqualified or feeling like you can't do it, yeah. it makes you think, okay, if I had to do that, like no BS, if I had to do that, what would it take to do it? And then it changes your whole mindset yeah. of the things that you have to do. And so uh, to answer your question, they, they challenge you and they push you and they make you think like that, um, which has really kind of got into the DNA of our company now. 